For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely? Think jackings. For who would bear the proud man's jackings? Yeah, that would make you want to stab yourself. It's an insult. Yeah. Oh, well, we prefer investments with high growth potential, not so much the arts. What's her concept again? Hamlet set in sunny Silicon Valley. Um, why does she need us? Because it's an attack on modern capitalism. By funding her play with venture capital, she's being subversive. Um, oh, here, it is all in her director's statement. Why would we do this? Diversify risk and expand our... <sighs> She's my sister, okay? Why did you say so? Of course we'll do it. With one stipulation. I play the ghost. Uh, you're not even a professional actor. Uh, I was in drama club in high school. No. I mean, small part. He's only on for a few scenes. <laughs> Plus, this your actor here. What's it? Michael Benefield. What's he done? Broadway. Off Broadway, major regional theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. But look at those eyes. We've seen more life in a stuffed moose. We're through here. You're through? Right. How about uh, Steve's sister? Daria. I, I swear to God, I won't milk my entrance. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. How would you like to stage your play in the belly of the beast? This is a master key card to every room in this building, including the executive board. Go on. We have a midnight curtain. I sneak the entire cast, crew, and audience into the building personally. But I play the ghost. You could lose your job. Yeah, you know I could. I could lose my job. I could be driven out of this cold, sterile, money-driven institution. Yeah, yeah, but for the chance to play one of the greatest supporting roles in the history of Western theater, I stand by my decision. You make high six figures. Looking forward to Mr. Benefield's performance.